Hey guys, this is Brandon from Robotics. Today I'll be bringing you a visual components video about the transform feature. First of all, the transform feature is something that allows us to configure different expressions and to model the geometry of an object according to our requirement. It is used by all components in visual components, which gives us the capability to easily customize both the component design and appearance. In this video, I'll be showing you guys three commonly used transform expressions, which are the scale, translation, and rotation expressions. To start, just drag a geo block into the 3D world, then go to the modeling tab, go to root, and select transform. The first feature we'll be talking about is the scale expression SX, SY, and SZ. This expression allows scale transformation to happen on the X, Y, and Z axis. Now, let's try shrinking the block by keying in a 0.5 as the multiplier for the three different axes. The block's parameter will be cut half for the three vector directions, which makes the whole block to shrink into half the size of the original one. And to enlarge the block, all we have to do is key in a number larger than 1. Here, we'll key in 2.5. As you can see, the block has been enlarged. Moving on, we have the translation expression, which is TX, TY, and TZ. So what the translation feature does is that it allows the object to translate in the X, Y, and Z direction. Here, we key in a 500 in the TX bracket and 0 for the rest. As you can see, the block moved to the positive x direction for 500 units. Then, we now change the translation of the 500 units to ty. The block moves 500 units in the positive y direction. And the same goes for the z axis too. The translation expression also allows the object to move in the negative direction. Here is how it looks like when we key in negative parameters. Also, we could combine all the translation of the three different axes. And here is what the final result looks like. Last, we have the rotation expression Rx, Ry, and Rz as shown on the screen. The rotation expression allows the object to rotate along the x, y, and z axis. Here, we key in a positive 45 degrees for Rx, and the block will rotate 45 degrees to the right along the x axis. The same goes for the y axis. and the z-axis too. Similar to the previous expression, the rotation expression also allows negative parameters. Here, we key in a negative 45 for our y, and this time, we can see the block rotates to the left. Of course, there are many more expressions that can be used to customize the object, which could be found in the help section over here. So be sure to explore the rest of the expressions and have fun modeling your component. Alright, that's all for today guys. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next video and have a nice day.